Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami 2. Welcome, welcome back. If you remember last time we spent some time back at the Tojo HQ trying to save none other than the acting chairman Yayoi, Dojima, and we got a little bit more interesting tidbits of the story, but we were sort of left with just having to go back to Kansai, and in order to do that we have to pass some time in the town. So, our first stop is to the Theater Square, what we do there, I have no clue. But, uh, well, it looks like we've drawn the ire of some unfortunate looking delinquents here. I say unfortunate looking because they're about to have a fitting end uh, to their consciousness for now. And one thing I wanted to actually do before things get really rocking too is I want to level up my skills because I have like quite a bit of experience. And when I was looking on the skill tree of things that we want, we can actually start spawning nouveau riche enemies, which hopefully will give us some more cash, or at least some good items. So, let's head to our stats and go to our battle skills, because we'll have like an idea of what we want here. So the ultimate combo speed is eventually our goal, but the life skills, the law of attraction, we want nouveau riche enemies to now appear, so we're going to buy that. And the token of appreciation max obviously will be great. The increasing a chance that items will drop from encounters are going to be um, very helpful for us going forward. So we want to make sure that we get 999 green. And then we can buy our combo speed max. And then we'll just start filling out combat speed from there. Kiryu-san? <laughs> あの、その説は、お世話になりました。ちょうど競馬で儲かったから、怒ってくれるんじゃなかったの。誰だそいつは。強化はどうした。あ、これはその。頑張って。強化を幸せにするんじゃなかったのか。そ、それは。結局。半端なままか。違うんです、キリュウさん。聞
at least the game placed us in the champion district, which is kind of close to where we need to be. Oh my god, Kiryu, get it together, man. Uh, I'd buy the hangover cure, but sometimes it's kind of funny just stumbling around with uh, complete drunkenness. Uh, oh my, Kiryu! Man can't even hold his liquor. That, well, to be fair, we also did it to him, so, you know. It is what it is. It's actually, I wonder how you code, like, the random walking axis when you're drunk in a game like this. I have no sense of, like, how to code anything, so... I can't imagine it's easy to do. But this will help us sober up a little bit, right? Beating the tar off of thugs always brought us happiness and, you know, just joy. Joy in general, right? Oh, that was nice, actually. We already lost a bar, actually, come to think of it. Yeah, on the ground, buddy. I actually would love to see... Ooh, is that right? we already got a silver plate. The XP is paying off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. We're seven on the drunk meter, so we're still kind of ailing here. I wonder if we can go on the side, if that is uh, allowed here. Because if you remember, this is how we got... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. And I believe he's on the 50th floor. So we just head over to the elevators and find the florist. Kind of crazy how there's nobody else in here besides him at the moment, but it is for a story after all. Boy. Florist, it's your son. Takashi wants to meet you. But the question is, are you willing to meet with him? Huh. <laughs> you said it yourself. He's pathetic. No backbone in that kid. Not a trait he picked up from me, that's for sure. That's your answer then? Yeah. I don't even want to look at him. Hmm, no backbone, huh? Maybe the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Hey, it's just not my thing. I guess we're done here then. Wait, Takashi. The kid just wants to talk to the florist, right? Yeah, he does. Then that's what I'll meet him as. Bring him on up. Alright. Hey, was that a smirk? Nah, somewhere deep down you want to meet this kid, I think. Mind your own damn business. Just bring the little shit in. Do we actually have to go collect him? That's going to be a bit annoying, but I do like the uh, flavor text under the sub-story. You're in luck, kid. My god. Alright, let's run up the stairs here, collect Takashi. I wonder where he's going to be. Is he going to be back at the bar, or is he going to be... Um, where, where, where do you call it? Is he going to be back at the bar, or is he going to be uh, somewhere else? I'm curious. I'd imagine, oh wait, is that no, oh it is, yo, alright, perfect. But I was gonna say, I imagine he'd be back at the bar, and like, cause he'd be waiting for us to come grab him, but hey, we got our first money bag. Oh good, he doesn't fall down either. Just keep kicking him. Look at that. Whittle him down, and we defeated our first Nouveau Riche enemy? What did he drop for us? Looks like cash. 50k? Damn, we'll take that. And just like that, Kiryu's perfectly fine and alcohol free. You'd think that even at a six drunk bar he'd be like stumbling around a bit, but he's doing just fine, clearly. Alright, let's run and pick up Takashi. Is he gonna run with us then, or is it just gonna kinda skip to the cutscene, I wonder? Of course, there's always a bunch of baddies roaming in the champion district, but we're not going to get involved with them. No, sir! Of course we are. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's okay. We're gonna head to this bar and we'll despawn them very easily. Oh, it's Shellac. Okay. I always forget the names down here, but here we go. Let's talk to Takashi. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. How'd it go? He's got a minute he can spare with you. Let's head up. Wow, really? Yes, really. Takashi, this is the florist. I... My name is Takashi. I don't need your life story, kid. You know how busy I am? Then you already know why? You want the dirt on the girl you eloped with, right? I just need to know what Kyoko's doing. I didn't ask for your reasons. You're in the market for info I happen to be selling. That's all this is. Got it? Yes. So, one more time. You want info on this chick you ran off with? Yes. Once you know the truth, there's no going back. Sure you won't regret it? I'm sure. 
No matter what I find out, I'll deal with it. I can take it. All right, then. Hmm. もしもし、私、うん。うん。会ってくれるの見たくない。お前が依頼したことだ。最後まで見るんだな。俺は。お父さん、何度もごめんなさい。あの だから私、彼を支えてあげたい。頑固者め。全く誰に似たんだが。I'm such a... The waterworks won't solve your problems, kid. Both of you. Thank you. I know you guys probably think I'm full of it. But I'm gonna keep working at this. I'll work as hard as I can. I promise. I'll make Kyoka happy. Yeah. Actions speak louder than words. Go back to Kyoka, Takashi. Right. And land a stable job, huh? No more running away when it gets tough. Right. <laughs> your father would be ashamed of you right now. What do you know about my dad? I'm an information dealer. What don't I know about your dad? You'd be able to find out about him then? Where is he now? What's he doing? If he's even still alive? There's nothing I can't find out. Mr. Florist, can you track down my father? You got the cash? What? My fee? Can you pay it? How much would it be? More than your sorry ass can afford, that's for sure. No use quoting it. When you can actually support yourself and that girl, you come see me again. Maybe then we'll talk like men. What do I owe you for this time, then? This one's going on my tab with Kiryu. I still owe him a few. Thank you. Thank him, not me. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Really, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> You're an impressive father. Father my ass. That was strictly professional. Since when do you work pro bono? Shut up. Like I said, we're square now. Oh god, a phone call. Nothing like Kiryu to call in a favor with an old friend. I really like to close the loop on a story like that from Yakuza Kiwami. Let's answer the phone. I'm ready to go. I'll wait for you at Serena, okay? Alright, I'll be right there. Alright, chill. We'll, we're, we're heading there. Just, it's, it's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> at least we've uh, knocked off some drunk meter here. And since to tie up any loose ends, um, the only loose end I really feel like tying up here is uh, finding a cab. But it looks like there's a Nouveau Riche enemy over there. I kind of want to go there and see what he has to drop for us, and hopefully he doesn't despawn. Um, we're going to use all of our sprint to get there, of course. I'm sort of debating if I should open up the lockers, but maybe if I ever come back to Kamurocho, that's when I'll open up the lockers and we'll go from there. There we go. Alright. Inagaki. Nouveau Riche. I'm gonna grab your- Ooh! Ooh, okay. There we go. 
beautiful. All right. 50k on the ground. Another idiot on the ground as well. We did get stabbed for it, but you know what? We probably deserve that from not blocking correctly. Or do I should say dodging. It's not like we're going to block a knife. God damn it. We're just getting pulled into fights with everybody. But we're going to head out of here as soon as possible, honestly. Oh, oh, stun gun day. Oh god, they all missed. There we go. Oh. There we go. Right into the group of people. Yes, sir. I really can't wait to level up my combo speed, just because it's going to be really, really awesome to do so. We're finally going to be looking at, like, max capacity as well. Eventually, we'll max out the other attack powers as well. There's a, a couple of, like, combat uh, things that we need to do by watching videos. Like, there's plenty to do as far as how we're still going to level up Kiryu. But I plan on maxing him out as best as I can before we get into the late, late game. And to do that, we'll have to do a bunch more challenges. But that should be very simple. No street boss in a while, actually, which I find kind of interesting. But, hey, we're back at the Serena. We're going to head out of here with Sayama. And we'll see what's waiting for us in, over in Kansai. Hopefully nothing too crazy right at the outset, so we can do a shit ton more sub-stories. そんなもん取り出して。もう誰も信じられないわ。課長は今まで私に神室町にいたなんて話、一度もしなかったわ。ずっと信じてきたのに。別に別所がお前を裏切ったわけじゃないだろう。裏切りよ。私が4課でどん
せやけどそれしか道はなかった警察ではどうにもならんかったんやあいつらの実態はつかめんわ略奪と暴行で市民は恐怖に陥るわ人言派がカムロ町に拠点を構えてから手がつけられんほど町は荒れとったんじゃどんなことがあろうとヤクザとは裏取引をしてはいけないそれが腐敗の一歩になるんだと課長はいつも言ってるじゃないですかあん時は他に方法がなかったんじゃを変えます消えたはずの人言派がなぜか今動いているこれについては何か知ってるんですね当時人言派の構成員は36人の組織やったこのうち死体として発見されたのが33人3人生き残りがいるってことかそうやそのうちの一人をわしは知っとる誰なんですかもう教えてください課長蒼天堀に桂馬という店があるそこにおるわ名前は今は村井という名前で生きとるわ村井ですね佐山村井を大阪に連れてきたのはわしや村井っちゅう名前もわしがつけたんやえあいつは奇跡的に一命を取り留めたけど人言派の掟は生よりも死復讐戦闘を生きることは許されんそこで村井は生きることを選んだんやせやからカムロ町から逃げる手助けをしたんや他の生き残りからの報復を避けるためかそうやわしとカーラが関西へ赴任するときに一緒に連れてきたカーラさんも関西に佐山はい今日付で身辺保護の任務は終わりやえ命令や理由を言ってください人言派が絡んでるとなりゃかなりの危険が伴う私が女だからですかちゃうそんなこと言うとるんやないわ四課の捜査範囲から外れたってだけや今さらそんなこと言わないでください犯罪者を取り締まるそれが私の仕事です今回の事件はヤクザ狩りのようにはいかんのじゃ相手は同じ人間じゃないですかお前は人言派の恐ろしさを知らんからそんなことが言えるんやあいつら女やろうが子供やろうが手加減せんのんじゃでも私はこれは命令や言うとるやろ<笑>見ての通り頑固者でのさやまのやつ守ってくれるかあいつ守れんのはあんたしかおらんねん頼む一つ聞きたいことがあるなんやカオラさんの発砲事件を知ってるな島組と人言派の事件と関係があるんじゃないのかそれに関西への赴任ともこれ以上のことはわしの口からは言えんとにかく佐山のこと頼んだで Oh, yeah. I wonder where she ran off to. I should check in with her. Something tells me. 
that although he said too much, everything is connected. And look at this, we come back here and instantly we find muggers. But they're gonna find themselves the ground real fast, I'll tell you that much. Beautiful. It's another guy down. Some items in our pockets. Oh, hello. You think you can get one over on me? No. The dragon engine will do that to you, but not me. Beautiful. Shake up the shakedown squad. Perfect. What'd you give me there? Silver plate? I'll take that, man. Thank you so much for the cash. We have a sub story, like, looking right at our faces here. So we're definitely gonna do that. Like, absolutely, right? Like, no contest. We're gonna do this as soon as possible. Oi. Kazuma Kiryu? Uh. That's me. Mind if I ask you a favor? That depends. What do you need? An ancient rivalry. Well, mind doing some judo with us? I know it's kind of sudden, but you'd be doing us a great service. Judo? Who are you guys? Sorry, guess it was rude not introducing myself first. Name Zinazuka. People call me the Barakan Sai. I'm pretty hot shit in the amateur judo world. These guys are all up and coming talents, too. Heh, <laughs> we're practically a bunch of stars. You heard of me, right? Yeah. The boar of Kansai. No, that doesn't sound familiar. I'm a bear, not a boar. The freaking bear of Kansai. Sorry, still not ringing a bell. No, just cut to the chase. All right. Point is, we got a request. We were told to throw down against Kazuma Kiryu. Who asked you to do that? Some swanky ass kid at our school. Goes by Kawauchi. I don't recognize the name. Wait, you guys are still in high school? Why do you sound so surprised? Anyways, that's why we're asking you to fight. If we do, Kawauchi's gonna hand us each a cool 100 grand. He's giving you that much for a judo match? Well, it ain't exactly judo. It's gonna be more like a throwing match. Why is that? Just doing what Kawauchi says. We don't ask questions. Sorry, but this has nothing to do with me. I have no reason to fight you. Maybe you don't got a reason, but we do. I ain't about to just let 100k slip through my fingers. That's not my problem. I'm out of here. W wait! Kawauchi said something else too about how he was finally going to get revenge on the Komaki school. What? What does that old man Komaki have to do with any of this? And what's this with that part about revenge? Something doesn't add up here. Anyway, we're on our knees here. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Won't you fight us, Kiryu? Yeah, we're going to fight him. I need to know why that Kawauchi guy wants revenge on Komaki. I guess this is my only choice. Fine, I'll fight you. But I'm not going to hold back, it's understand? There. Works for me. Rules are no punching allowed, only throwing. Now come on, let's get down to business. The suspicious men. You guys are going to get judoed to death here. Unfortunately, it's going to take forever to only throw these folks. That's alright. They're going to fly like birds. We just have to make sure that we're always kind of damaging them. Like that. Perfect. That's one down. Just spam the B button to throw. Another one down. We'll get Inazuka here next. Perfect, because he has the most damage to get. And he's almost there. Of course, there, I think there's a locker key over there as well. So it's something I'm very interested in grabbing as well. That was simple enough. Damn it! Those arms are too much. Want to try again? Yeah. Nah, we good. Just needed to fight you to get that hundred grand. Kawauchi didn't say nothing about actually winning. Huh. Anyways, we're out of here. Later, man. Dude, Kiryu's throwing high schoolers around. That is not good for him. You truly are the heir to the Komaki style, Kazuma Kiryu-san. Who are you? You can call me Motoe. Motoe Kawauchi. Kawauchi, you're the guy Inazuka was talking about. What? Correct. Speaking of Inazuka, I must apologize for earlier. It was merely a test of your ability. A test you passed with flying colors, mind you. Those are nationally respected judo starlets you threw around. Just who are you? A son of the Kawauchi School of Martial Arts, the rival to your Komaki School. Our styles have long stood as the twin pillars of Japanese martial arts, the Komaki School of the East and the Kawauchi School of the West. My elder brother and I are the joint heirs to our school. What does this have to do with me? Last year, rumors swirled about Osaka and how Master Komaki had passed down his secret techniques and his whole school. The heir? A man by the name of Kazuma Kiryu. I have been tracking your movements for quite a while, Kiryu-san. Hold on. Komaki never said anything about giving me his school. Yeah. Believe what you will, but know that the rest of the world does not view it as you do. 
After all, you are the only people Komaki has ever trusted enough to teach his most beloved techniques. And let me guess, you want to beat me up so you can drag Komaki's reputation yeah. down? Quite the contrary, Kiryu-san. There is someone I would like you to defeat for me. Go on. My brother, third master of the Kawauchi school. Defeat Gensho Kawauchi. You want me to beat up your brother? Indeed, it appears he has been possessed by an intense, all-consuming passion. You see, the Kawauchi school is known for its unique throwing technique, one that my brother was quite well versed in, but that failed to satisfy his desire to power. He would throw day in, day out, tormenting his opponents with his skill. Soon enough, he decided that there was no match for him here in Osaka, so he left to find the strongest opponent possible. About half a month ago, he showed his face in Kamurocho, having evidently learned of the foe he so strongly desired. Don't tell me. Indeed, his goal is to defeat you, Kazuma Kiryu, the Dragon of Dojima. As his brother, it pains me to see Gensho absorbed by such an irrational obsession. I wish for him to return to his old ways, content in honing our school's secret arts day after day. Please, you must use your might to break free, break him free of that trance so, so violently clouds his mind. I implore you. Hmm. That's a hard story to believe. But I won't let your brother throw his life away for some delusional goal. How can I find him? He mentioned that he discovered a venue for your fight. Underground, apparently. Unfortunately, I know little beyond that. Maybe the Underground Coliseum? Alright, I'll try and find your brother next time I'm in Kamurocho. You have my thanks, Kiryu-san. Please, set him free from this wickedness. I will. <laughs> Simple as that, huh? Very interesting. Alright, an ancient rivalry. Beat Gensho Kawauchi at the Coliseum. Well, certainly this is a quest that we started, and a quest that we're probably not going to finish for quite some time. But, that's okay. There's other things that we can do on the streets of Sotenbori, but that's gonna have to wait until next time. So, I'll see you guys next time with another episode of my Yakuza Kiwami 2 Let's Play. This has been DuffKing56. See you guys later. Peace out.